Okay guys, so today I'm over here uh, to show you a walk around on the uh, new Toyota Yaris uh, by uh, Toyota Malaysia which is already offering right now and you can walk to the showroom and buy This video is just for those that in case they are very very uh, curious how does it look like and they are like they still want a second opinion or maybe just want a quick look around also in the car or they are too busy to go to any Toyota showroom to just look at the car so okay so this is the G variant so this is the top spec of the line so let's move on the uh, front part first okay so you get a skirting on the front bumper as well so it's very nice uh, additional red paint on the uh, front part uh, you get camera on the bumper as well uh, DRLs here uh, fog lamp, halogen headlamps as well what some more do you want to know? Mm. so the front part looks same like the Vios doesn't have any much uh, different to it yeah it does look like the Vios alright so tyre let's move to the tyre tyre using the Proxys R50 uh, it's a 195 50 16 inch uh, this tyre amazing quiet grips well and made in Malaysia alright side mirror there's cameras here for you to use during the uh, when you are reversing your car uh, side mirror so what's so special as well uh, there's a lane assist uh, which alert you when there's a car at your blind spot it will light up and uh, alert the driver alright this part here will alert it so this is the door handle quite big uh the chrome additional chrome color on it is nice but i wish it should be the same as the door car uh the car color if it's white make it white it's kind of look overt you know that suddenly the uh, the door handles are chrome so not so sure why they do it this way so this is the killer's uh, button here you can lock your door when the key fob is near to you everything so there's side skirting as well here there's red color part here uh, you also get a uh, rear disc brake as well on the G variant so you can see this is the G variant uh, I think you will love the rear part of the uh, this uh, hatchback actually to be honest uh, yeah, you will again get the body parts here uh, sorry for the car that is dirty because uh, it has been uh, slight drizzling uh, lately these few days mm. prominent thing the rear lights are look fantastic amazing so there's two additional aero fin here helps the aerodynamic okay rear spoiler fantastic looks cool very you're going to appeal to the young one okay you get the shark fin antenna there's bumps on the roof also which helps the aerodynamic overall the exterior looks cool it's very very cool maybe just the front part it takes a while to like it and this white color this white color i initially i'm not really that uh too fancy with the white but over the few days, I'm like, yeah, I grow fond of it. First thing first, uh, white color looks similar to the uh, WRC car as well. Minus the graphic decals and so on. Uh, the other thing is also it looks kind of like the uh, AE86, right? Imagine this, if it has like the panda black color, I think you're going to appeal a lot of buyers to buy it. Alright. Uh... Let's see what else. Okay. 
Now let's move to the interior. Interior wise, let's see on the door. All door panels come with a speaker. You can put a uh, border. So on the driver's side here, uh, yeah, all the doors also come with this uh, leather padding here with the blue line stitching. So there's controls here. I'm not going to give you details about it. So there's also a plate here saying it's a Yaris. Uh, lights up blue. I telling you, there's a interior team color which is blue. Look at that fabric seat also. There's blue stitching, blue stitching. The lights there is also a blue. Yeah, the even the dash mirror also is blue. So if you're not fancy of blue, yeah. I need to alert you guys first. All right, moving along here. It's a killer's entry. You can start it up with this button here. So there's three driving mode in this car. It's the normal, eco mode, sport mode. All right, this turns off the traction control. This is the uh, parking sensor. This uh, adjust the fog lamp lights. Uh, so you can open up the boot here. Uh, here you open up your fuel cover, steering, uh, plastic key, but gives a very racy feel. It's very very racy feel. Uh, buttons are soft to touch, amazing, very very amazing. Love it. Uh, so there's no pedal shift in this car. You want? Is a manual shift. You can manual shift the car as well. Okay, so moving next. Infotainment. All right, over here, there's one USB for you. There's aux in. I think this is the aux. All right. Uh, you can play CD over here. Uh, Aircon. Uh, it's not a touch screen. There's uh, buttons here. You need to press it. Uh, what else? Mm, you get uh, two additional border space here. You put two border space here. Uh, over here, there's a 12 volt socket here. But you need to buy a USB connector if you want to connect anything. Alright. Uh, okay, here, all plastic. It's mostly plastic. The amount of money you are paying, yes, it's just plastic. So this is the glove box department, separated two. So this is the infotainment controller here. I'm not going to play that. I don't really have time to play the infotainment. But I'll later show a video of uh, starting up and how to use a bit the infotainment. So this is the sunshade mirror here. All right, roof, fabric material, very nice. Nice to hold, nice to touch. Uh, rear mirror, rear mirror here. There's a uh, auto. Uh, you auto tint the mirror when there's high beam at the uh, the rear car. If you're shooting high beam, you auto tint it, so it won't blind you. So this is the dash cam. You get dash cam for the G variant. Uh, in this uh, Toyota Yaris, front and rear. Uh, it has a uh, GPS detection as well, and also it will show the speed you're going so very good for the new young drivers and also uh, older drivers uh, also again passenger here sunshade that's mirror for them they can look cool all right so that's mostly the front part i'll just go very quick because there's no point for me to like uh, explain too long uh, oh, for the uh, driver sitting position there's ample space uh, one thing because this is not a telescopic uh, steering type so you can only adjust up and down on the uh, steering which I find it mm, kind of weird so if you want to if you have a short hand you have to move the seat a bit to the front so that's only just the downside for me okay 
going to the rear part I need to move to the rear part real quick all right so this is the rear spacing all right so over here the compartment this compartment is actually too small I'm not going to comment anything it's just small so at the back here you get a uh, two USB charging port as well it's blue color so I think it's supporting the 3.0 cables all right so look at that so for the rear seating uh for me five feet seven i'm i'm quite sitting quite comfy uh i have short legs i won't deny that but let's say if it's a six fitter that is sitting out in front i think you still have a quite some ample space look at that all right so the front seats at the back of them there's this uh, pockets here holder if some of you would prefer all right so you got a lot of things so the rear seat again blue stitching fabric there's no leather on this car so if you're looking for leather version i'm not so sure whether will they going to be offering it uh in the next uh facelift or next update uh let's hope so Mm, what else what else do you want to know i'm going to show you all like how to put the uh, rear seat down as well so you open this clip up move it to the side there's a button here press it down you press it down there's a button over here press it down and voila push it down just like that uh it won't totally collapse everything down so there will be some gap towards to the rear all right you can see all right so if you want to put it back just be careful mindful of the uh, rear seat belt it clips onto it make sure the safety belt is properly placed and you clip that back simple very very simple so all right rear also there's this uh, yaris plate as well blue lighting as well this blue team okay so now i'm going to open the uh, rear boot so this is the rear boot space yeah it's actually quite spacious you know quite spacious uh the other one more thing uh, i'm sorry if the car exterior is kind of bit dirty uh partially is my fault and also the weather's fault because it has been lately been a uh, slight drizzle in malaysia uh so i apologize it's totally not uh, toyota malaysia fault it's just uh that's drizzle happening lately so this is the real space basically it looks uh, spacious you can remove this if you want so this is the rear dash cam you can see it all right not joking with you there's a rear dash cam for you all right so you can uh, put additional hooks here if you like want to put extra uh, baby seats or anything you want to hook onto it you can still hook onto it and uh, okay what you get also your spare tire you're also getting back the uh, alloy spare tire as well all right so it's totally worth your money this uh, toyota is really offering back best bang for your buck as well all right so let's move to the next part i'm going to turn on the car let you all hear how is it and how's the startup and everything so on uh, but before we go to that part i'm going to show you the uh, engine as well the front hood there all right so i'm going to pop it up all right so give me a sec i will just open it up okay you're still watching good so this is the engine bay area you can see the dual bbti engine here is 
quite well engineered the placing of it so battery it's small compact uh look kind of small because the base plate is quite big there's ample space for it as well maybe you could put a bigger battery i'm not sure so air box over here there's a huge air box to be honest so overall yeah this is the engine bay the 1.5 liter engine with the seven speed uh cvt transmission okay so now let's head over for the startup and uh, i'll show you all the uh dash meters what are they how to operate and so on all right okay guys so right now i'm going to start the car okay so just watch it carefully i have already pressed the brake pedal and i will start it in one two three Okay, alright, radio is turned on. I'll lower it down and let me open the AC. It's kind of hot in Malaysia. So, infotainment, they will always come out this caution thingy, which I very hate it. It's every time it pop up, just click on the agree. Actually, let's see the infotainment first actually to be honest the infotainment is just so so nothing much to shout out much yeah you can just link to your usb you can play your phone songs and so on uh practically that's much that's it so you can go to the setting here you go to system and if you just this is just in case if you just want to set up your phone Go to connectivity, Bluetooth is on, make sure the name is car multimedia, just auto pair it, it will help you to do most of the part. Uh, Alright, yes, you can choose the modes here on the steering, look. You can do all the thing, unfortunately you can't go back you know it's kind of weird it's like you can only do minor controls on the steering but most of the time it's better to use the touch screen it's much better it's quicker so mostly this is just the interface of it there's nothing much to shout out that's why I say it's I can't really give a good comment or bad comment about the infotainment. So press one time, it will just show the time you're on the radio channels. Press again one more time, you go back to the home menu. You wanna turn it off? One, two, two seconds, turns it off. Press one more time, one, two, takes a bit a while to turn on back but it's good all right so let's go over to the aircon man the aircon amazing cool also it's very very cool press this auto it'll go ballistic You have to remember it won't it doesn't works like a climate control so it just automatically just keep blowing the fan i think i have been like s driving like for 10 minutes it just keep blowing high blast uh, fan 
onto me like for the 10 minutes I was like wow I thought this is automatic you should be like supposed to help me control the temperature and the fan controls but it just keep continue blowing and then I decided I have to manually uh, control the fan all right so let's go over to the button all right the buttons on the steering wheel what does it do let's go to the trip trip button so you only go to trip a trip b and odometer all right so what does other button does okay this back button it will like pop up the menu this will straight go change the meter mood setting for you like you want to view what kind of style so there's three view simplified view digital speed meter which you usually use it driving information okay menu next eco it's just eco will show you like what uh your fuel consumption like how much you have used I'm sorry, mine is not the best. So this one shows the five minute of your driving average consumption. Eco saving. Sorry, I don't drive slow. So eco saving record. Pass record. Monthly average. Uh, this just show your ranking when did you uh, drive the most uh, fuel economy period all right so moving on is the settings language you want to change the units you can change it otherwise you go back echo do you want to turn it on and off i'll just leave it on all right so you change your fuel price here Enter. Enter. Yeah. I think it's two ringgit eight cents right now. Right. I'm not going to charge it, but I'll just change it first. Two ringgit eight cents. All right. Uh. I'm not going to change that. Let's go down. Adjust brightness. Nope. Let's lower the brightness. We don't need that to be that bright. Three, three quarter of it. It'll be nice. Pop up guidance. All right, no problem. Date. Yeah. Good. Trip summary display. All right. Initialization. Uh, no so basically that's the buttons what they are doing alright so moving back to the alright one more thing the drive mode alright so there's eco mode there's sport mode so you'll be wondering Ken I need to change back to the normal mode how do I change? Just let's say you are now in the sport mode, press again the sport mode and go back to the normal mode. This is just in case if you you don't really read the owner's manual, I'm here to help you. But for me, I'll just leave it in eco mode. Usually I live in eco mode and or the normal mode, which is sufficient enough for me. Okay. So right now, I'm also going to show you guys the uh, reverse camera as well, the 360 camera. All right. So first thing first, you need to go shift the gear to reverse. All right. So you can see, that's the 360 camera. All right. So that's the real camera working is thing out amazing but for now this is just to show you all guys so basically my video of the uh, walk around the Yaris 
uh, ends right here uh, right now so wait for my video on the drive experience I'm still planning on which area I want to cover so wait for that video and then I was also going to give like my final verdict on that video over there all right I'll give you the pros and cons whether should you uh, get it or not who is it for and how does it perform as well all right so make sure wait for that video all right cheers